Money on the board, two daily doubles. Here are your new categories, players. First up, military men. Then same first and last letter, geography. We have some women authors, ranks and titles, Disney movie taglines, and finally, in quotation marks both, plain and simple. Allie, where would you like to start? Let's do Disney movie taglines for 2000, please. 2010, they're taking adventure to new lengths. Lengths of hair, that is, it's tangled. Allie, select again. Taglines for 1600. 2012, when the arcade closes, the fun begins. Brad. What is Wreck-It Ralph? You got it. Disney for 1200? 1963, Merlin uses all his magic powers to change a scrawny boy into a legendary hero. Steven. What is a sword in the stone? Yes. Uh, I'll take uh, plain and simple for 800, please. Going to the fair, this nursery rhyme guy meets a purveyor of baked goods. Brad. What is Simple Simon? Yes, he meets the pie man. Disney for 800. The answer there is one of the two daily doubles in the round. You're in second place, Brad. Let's see if you can do yourself a lot of good here. 5,000, please. Oh, wow. That would be the lead if correct. Here's your clue in Disney movie taglines. 1950. Midnight never strikes when you're in love. What is Cinderella? That is correct. It's also confusing because midnight does strike in the movie. You have the lead, Brad. Disney movie for four, please. 1937, the happiest, dopiest, grumpiest, sneeziest movie of the year. Allie. What is Snow White? And the Seven Dwarves, that's correct. Women authors for 1,200? From the same year she completed her quartet about the undead, her novel The Host deals with aliens taking over human minds. Brad? Who is Myers? No. Allie. Who is Anne Rice? Also incorrect. Mm. Steven looks puzzled. You were so close, Brad. Stephanie Meyer without the S. Uh, Back to you, Allie. Uh, ranks and titles for 1,200. Bahadur Shah II was the last of the Muslim rulers of India that gave us this word in English that now means a tycoon. He was the last Mughal ruler. Back to you, Allie. Ranks and titles for 800. One of the two present-day European countries where the title Infanta is used for the daughter of the monarch. Stephen. Where is Spain? Or Portugal, right. Uh, ranks and titles, 2,000. This term for a medieval Scottish lord was the title Shakespeare's Macbeth held twice over before his act of regicide. Brad? What is Thane? You are correct. Women authors for 16. A collaboration and romance with Jules Sandeau had something to do with Aurore Dudevant choosing this pen name. Steven. What is George Sand? That's the pen name, yes. Uh, military men, 1,200. Storm and Norman, this commander of U.S. forces, wanted to destroy the Republican Guard in Desert Storm. Steven? Who's Schwarzkopf? Yes. Uh, military men, 2,000. In a 1934 work, de Gaulle preferred a mobile army to this static defensive barrier set up versus a German attack. Chuck was right. Steven? What is the Maginot Line? Yes. Uh... Military men, 1600, please. This general went from being called Young Napoleon of the West in 1861 to getting the sack from Lincoln the next year. Who is George McClellan? Back to you, Stephen. Ranks and titles, 1600, please. The founder of the Hare Krishna movement was known by this five-letter title for a Hindu teacher. It was called Swami. Stephen? Plain and simple, 1200, please. As an acronym from around 1960, KISS stands for this instruction that includes an insult at no extra charge. Brad. What is keep it simple, stupid? Right. <laughs> uh, women authors for 800. In Sue Grafton's Alphabet Mystery Series, G is for this synonym of sleuth. Steven. What is gumshoe? Yes. Uh, plain and simple, 2000, please. 1888's These... Ever tasted a yellow dragon fruit? It has a juicy white flesh that's sweeter and more flavorful than the regular kind. And I got it delivered fresh. I found them on this app called We that sources and delivers fresh groceries and- From the Hills, Rudyard Kipling's first book of fiction gives vivid portraits of life in British India. Those are plain tales. You select, Stephen. Same first and last letter geography 400, please. 
Y'all, Rusty Wallace wanted to go fast to Talladega in 2004 in this state, and sure did. We hit 228 at the end of the straightaway. Brad, what is Florida? No. We needed the same first and last letter. It's Alabama. Back to you, Stephen. Uh, same category for 800, first and last. Looking for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? You'll find it on the shores of this lake. Brad. What is Erie? Yes. I get it. Um, same first and last for 1,200? I hope so, because you just found the name oh, double. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a video clue. You can retake the lead again. Brad. 4,000. All right. You will retake the lead if correct. Here's your clue. Same first and last letter geography. Check out Ocker's Hus Fortress, begun in 1299 and a major landmark in this world capital. Brad? Out of time. What is Oslo? I must have said Oslo. You still have control. Select again. Uh, first and last for 2,000, please. This river rises in the Czech Republic, but nearly 500 of its 724 miles flow through Germany to the North Sea. Stephen. What is the Elbe? That's correct. Uh, women authors 400, please. Bigamy, murder, and insanity show up in Mary Braddon's Lady Audley's Secret, a huge bestseller in this proper 19th century era. Stephen. What is the Victorian era? Yeah. Uh, plain and simple 400, please. Charles Dickens' friend, Charles Frederick Field, was one of Scotland Yard's first of these, named for their non-uniform garb. Brad? What is plain clothes? Plain clothes, then? That's correct, yes. Um, first and last for 16. This largest island in Alaska covers nearly 3,600 square miles, and yes, I'll have some of its abundant salmon, please. Brad? What is Kodiak? Right. Women authors for 2,000. This native of Jackson, Mississippi, wrote the novel Delta Wedding about a southern plantation family. Brad, who is Faulkner? No. I think Faulkner would be surprised to find himself in a women author's category. This is <laughs> Eudora Welty. Back oh, to you, Brad. Oh, no. I hope it don't go viral. Um, plain and simple for 1600. <laughs> in the 18th century, an explorer applied this two-word term to a vast area of North America that isn't as flat as the name makes it sound. Stephen? What are the Great Plains? Right. Uh, military Men 800. Colorful nickname of Manfred von Richthofen, credited with 80 victories over Allied aircraft between 1916 and 1918. Allie. Who's the Red Baron? Yes. Uh, ranks and titles 400. JP is for short. They preside over misdemeanor cases and perform marriages. Allie. Who are justices of the peace? That's right. And military the final men. clue in Military Men? A movie bio subject, this general scene here, had to repeat his freshman year at West Point due to bad grades. Brad, who is Patton? George Patton is correct, bringing you to 10,600. And second place, Final Jeopardy now brings with it this category. Sports. While the contestants make their wagers, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back with the clip. We all got pop. Let's see how these three contestants do with the Final Jeopardy category of sports. Here's the clue. In 2010, they introduced the four-point shot, 35 feet from the basket. 30 seconds. Good luck. Miller in the middle had $2,200 coming into final. Her response? Who is the ABL? I'm sorry, that's not correct. You wagered nothing at all. You still have $2,200. Brad Weinstock in second place with $10,600. He was up and down. He found daily doubles. Who is Ina Garden? Ina Garden. She is a woman author, but not much of a basketball innovator, I'm afraid. So you're going to lose... $511, taking you down to $10,089. Stephen Webb could not be caught. $21,800. His response? Who are the Harlem Globetrotters? Just barely got it in. That is correct. They are the basketball innovators with the four-point shot. So you're going to add, oh, just $500. You finished with $22,300 today and a two-day total of $60,701.
Thanks for tuning us in today, folks. I hope you'll do it again tomorrow.